okay now it is the time for the third equation of motion we have seen earlier that the average velocity is given by v plus u divided by 2 if we have the initial velocity as u and the final velocity as v and hence we can write the displacement as s is equal to average velocity into time that we had done the earlier case also so s is equal to v plus u divided by 2 times the time taken for motion and this time what we are going to do is we are going to use the first equation of motion to find out what this t is so the first equation of motion as you might already uh, remember is v is equal to u plus a t and from this if we want to find out what t is we can do this we can take a t and we can just put this u on the other side so we have we'll have a t is equal to v minus u and then we can just leave t over here and we can see that t is equal to v minus u divided by a so that is the value of t from the first equation of motion and we are going to use this value of t from here from the first equation of motion and we are going to plug it in this place in place of this t over here so what we are going to do now is we are going to write s is equal to this earlier expression which we had written earlier that is v plus u divided by 2 and now in, in the place of t we are going to plug in the value of t from the first equation of motion and that value of t as we say it is v minus u divided by a hence if we simplify this further what we get is s equal to v plus u into v minus u that gives us v squared minus u squared perhaps you are already familiar with that identity a plus b into a minus b is a squared minus b squared so v plus u into v minus u is v squared minus u squared divided by 2 times a which we can put in the denominator finally we can just take this 2a and multiply it with s so we shall get 2as is equal to v squared minus u squared i shall write v squared minus u squared on the left hand side for convenience so v squared minus u squared that is on the left hand side now and on the right hand side we shall just write 2a times s that is 2as and so that finally gives us v squared equal to this minus u squared when taken on the other side becomes plus u squared so we have v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as and that is our final expression for the third equation of motion and we shall just write that down this one this this we'll just highlight this we this is the third equation of motion okay we'll take a we'll take a short example of this third equation of motion solve a question using this third equation of motion so, and we, you can see that the quantities that are involved in this third equation of motion are the final velocity the initial velocity the acceleration and the displacement so these four quantities are involved over here so we'll take an example suppose if we have a situation where uh, an object is having an initial velocity of say some 10 meter per second and it is undergoing an acceleration for of uh, uh, for say 5 seconds so we'll put that t equal to 5 seconds and the acceleration that it is undergoing is say 2 meter per second square right and then uh, finally the object is say 
having uh, acquiring a velocity of 20 meter per second so what do we have we have an object which was initially traveling with an initial velocity so this is the object suppose it is traveling with an initial velocity of 10 meter per second right and it has got an acceleration of 2 meter per second squared and it is traveling for 5 seconds and after 5 seconds this object has reached a velocity of say 20 meter per second this is the story and we need to calculate the displacement of the object in this time interval and for that we can use this third equation of motion and we can just plug in the values over here and we can say that uh, the this uh, v this v v squared is 20 squared so we can write it like this it is 20 squared equal to u squared u squared is 10 squared right and then we have 2 a s so 2 times a a is 2 itself again and s we have to determine from this expression so finally what do we have this 20 squared becomes 400 this 100 this 10 squared becomes 100 so we take this 100 to the side uh, so it becomes 400 minus 100 that is 300 so 300 is equal to 2 times 2 is 4 so 4 s so that is the situation now and then this implies that s s is displacement remember so s is equal to 300 divided by 4 and 300 divided by 4 is nothing but 75 so the object is traveling 75 meter with this initial velocity and with this final velocity with this acceleration in this time interval and that we have successfully calculated from the third equation of motion so now we have all the three equations of motion in place so we are having much much firepower in our arsenals now and we'll come back shortly to look into some more interesting concepts regarding motion thank you